There are many people who feel that the solution to the national debt crisis is to cut spending. Others feel that the solution is to raise taxes. And then there's the guys who are actually running this circus who think that the solution is to print more money and to take on more debt. All of these answers are incorrect. These answers are wrong because they're based on a fundamental misunderstanding of the true nature of the dollar. U.S. Federal Reserve notes are based entirely on debt. There are two types of debt that are used to create money. One is through bonds, which the government pledges to pay back at interest by extracting labor from you, the citizenry. And the second method is through fractional reserve banking, which is a practice of loaning out money that doesn't exist and collecting interest. Now, believe it or not, this is legal and standard practice in modern banking. In both cases, the beneficiary of this arrangement is the banks. Now, the system that I'm describing to you is a very cleverly disguised form of slavery. It is, in fact, modern feudalism. However, this is only the tip of the iceberg. The real problem, and the reason that none of the typical solutions to the debt issue that I mentioned earlier will ever work, is the fact that all the debt that is used to create money has interest attached to it. What this means in clear and simple terms is that in our system, debt will always exceed the total amount of money in circulation. It also means that eliminating the debt would extinguish every dollar in circulation that was created through that debt. Take a second to think about what this means. It is mathematically impossible to pay off the debt. Spending less will not fix the problem. Increasing taxes will not fix the problem. The most difficult and the most important thing to come to terms with is that this isn't an accident. The current monetary system is doing exactly what it was designed to do. It was designed to enslave the population while hiding that slavery to prevent a revolt. It may not be comfortable for us to acknowledge that we've been tricked, that we've been enslaved by men in suits far, far away that we've never met, and that the political solutions that we've come to believe in are meaningless. But that's the cold, hard reality that we need to face. The bankers have enslaved you, your parents, your grandparents, and your great-grandparents. The question you need to ask yourself is this. Will you fight to change this, or will you allow your children and your grandchildren to be born into slavery as well? And it feels good to be a banker Then it feels good to be a banker A real banker and associate places cards right